As I told you, Bentley, a loathsome creature does indeed guard the castle. Well, if that's true, advanced geological theory indicates the only place this boat monster could hide is inside that cavern. Forsooth! Perhaps also because it is the only cavern in the area? Uh, right. If this thing exists at all, it all sounds like superstitious nonsense. You doubt the veracity of my tale? Then allow me to vanquish this evil beast and quell your disbelief! Whoa, wait a sec, Gallus. Just navigating that cave's interior could be hazardous to your health. Nay, Bentley. Fear not. I will show you the true valor of the Cooper name. Carmelita, what are you doing? Relax, Ringtail. Just keeping tabs on the Dragon Slayer. I don't recall you watching my back on any jobs. Only when I'm trying to catch you. But I find Gallus charming. He has a good heart. Even if he is a headstrong goof. Then you better get going before Sir Goof gets himself captured again. These murky caves conceal the villain's presence. Next time, I should procure a more lightweight suit of armor. The foul creature will soon feel my wrath! shall soon know the valor of the Coopers. Quite a pleasant climb. Aside from the impending monster battle, sounds. This dragon is not flesh and bone, but iron and steel. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 
Sleep well, Behemoth, for soon enough your fate is sealed. Now, foul demon, face the fury of Sir Gallant Cooper! Gallant, no! <laughs> mm, mayhap Sir Bentley had a point. Tin can with teeth. Let's see what you're really made of.
Alas and alack, I feel as though I have been ground into sausage. I... are you hurt, Sir Galleth? Methinks I am still whole. I thank you, milady, but must confess, rescue by a fair damsel wounds me deepest. I think I understand. What do you say we make this our little secret? I would be thrice grateful and in your debt. What a fair and gracious maid you are, Carmelita. I think I like the sound of that. Thank you.